Okay, folks, we're here with Matt Charter from Matt Charter Motorsport. Hey, Matt, how are you? Yeah, good, good. Yourself? We're uh, we're way over in WA. It's yeah. a bit of a long haul for uh, from us, from or well, for me, from Brisbane, and yourself from down uh, Albury Way. Albury, yeah, yeah. So, did you come in the truck or did you come in a plane? No, nah, no, nah, we we flew, we flew. It's too much time off work, you know, to drive it. We had a, had a trucky drive for us, and we flew in um, late last night. So, mm. yeah. All right, so we're third round for the uh, Super 2s. Yeah. And you've raced here before? Yeah, yeah, raced here um, in Super 2s. I've done, well, actually, the first time I came here, we had a problem. We were running with another team. We had a problem. First lap of the first practice session, um, broke a shock in the car, and we had to just pull out the whole weekend, which, yeah, it was a real, it was only my second round in Super 2s, so it was a real hard one to kind of take. But, you know, move on. Right, so looking forward to the weekend. It's, it's, it's an interesting track. Tire degradation is what they talk about in the supercars. Are your races long enough to have the similar problem? Yeah, yeah, I think they are. Because, um, I mean, but everyone's in the same boat. But, yeah, it's about dealing with it. And I think you're going to see a lot of the inexperienced guys kind of still trying to push as hard at the end of the race when the cars aren't necessarily going to do what they should or what they have been through practice and quality. So I think that should be interesting. You might see some, hopefully some passing or feel coming back together you know, later on in the races. Well, this is probably the only racetrack I think we go to where we call it a sand trap and it's actually sand. Yeah, yeah, physically sand. You know, there's no sliding over the top of it. If you go in, you go in yeah. hard. Yeah. Cool. All right, on the side of the car, it's Auto One. Yeah, Auto One Aubrey. Yep. Tell us about that. That's opening very soon. Yeah, that's our, our business. It's an extension of our family business. Um, currently, we're mechanics, and um, yeah, we've just taken on double the size of kind of shed that we're in. And so, yeah, we pushed all the workshop out the back. We have a new Bunnings just opened up across the road, so it's become a big kind of retail area. So we're capitalising on that. We're opening up our own branch of. Auto One Aubrey, and yeah, they'll all be coming together in May. We're hoping kind of mid-May is the, the aim to have the kind of grand opening and all the rest, and yeah, that's what we've got on the side of the car. Yeah. So a few race cars lined up in the workshop there. And, and yeah, the yeah, we've gone all out with the workshop, you know. We didn't just move in and kind of deal with it. We really went all out. We built ourselves a big mezzanine and have all the race cars kind of nicely nicely laid out under that, nice painted floors and all the rest. All the workshops kind of off to the side, so it's going to be... It's gonna be really cool. We're gonna have um, a glass, big glass windows at the back of the sh back of the store, so you can come to the back of the store and actually look and see the actual Auto One Aubrey supercar getting worked on, which is, you know, something real cool. And I'm saying both we and I know um, Auto One are pretty excited about. Yeah, you know, it's, it's it's not something you see every day. Excellent. So we hit to Townsville after this round. Oh, we, okay, we haven't had the round yet. We hit to, to Townsville. And uh, so you get a bit of a break, so I guess all your focus is going to be on the, on the workshop. Yeah, yeah, we'll get back, we'll strip the car down, send whatever off we need to send off and all the rest, and I think it's going to sit there in pieces for a few weeks while we just concentrate on the store. There's still a lot of work to do, and that's that period is when it really comes together, so it's good that we have that break, and that's where we really, really timed it to aim to put the shop together, have the opening in that break, you know, so it's not, not too hectic around trying to race and have that business going on at the same time. Excellent. All right, we'll chat to you over the weekend and we'll have photos up on uh, your Facebook page and yep. our own and we'll see you then. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks.